Hi all. In this class, let us learn concentration cells. What are concentration cells? How these concentration cells are different from electrochemical cells? How to construct the concentration cell? How to solve the problems based on the concentration cell? These are all the things uh, we are going to cover in this headline, concentration cells. So definition is like this. The concentration cell is a galvanic cell that consists of identical electrodes dipped in the same electrolyte, which may differ in either electrode concentration or electrolyte concentration. That means it's a kind of galvanic cell, which is having two identical electrodes dipped in the same electrolyte. For example, if you take the copper electrode, it should be dipped in the copper sulfate electrode, electrolyte. Or if you take a silver electrode, it should be dipped in the silver nitrate electrolyte. Like this, they are having two identical electrodes, that is both anode and cathode must be same metal. If it is iron, both are iron. If it is silver, both anode and cathode are silver, like that. And the constant electrolyte also must be the same. Then what is the change? What is the difference? Means which may differ either in the electrode concentration, the concentration of the electrode, that is potential of the electrode may change between anode and cathode. Even though metal is same, there may be a change in the potential of the electrode or electrolyte concentration may differ. This is the only change. So uh, at the end, will give the definition like this. A concentration cell is a galvanic cell that consists of identical electrodes dipped in the electrolyte, which may differ either in the electrode concentration or electrolyte concentration. So we have two types of concentration cells here, electrode concentration cell and electrolyte concentration cell. But in our syllabus, we have only electrolyte concentration cell. It's also a three-star uh, question, the most important question here for the VTU and other uh, examinations. So what is electrolyte concentration cell? The name itself indicates the changes only in the concentration of the electrolyte. Identical electrodes, same electrolyte, but they change in the concentration of the electrolyte. It's a galvanic cell in which two identical electrodes which are in contact with the same solution of electrolyte in different concentration. For example, let us consider two silver electrodes that are contact with silver nitrate solution of different concentration, M1 and M2, connected through a voltmeter. The electrolytes are connected through a salt bridge. Cell representation like this, silver slash silver nitrate of M1 concentration, double slash silver nitrate of M2 concentration, silver. That means, see the extreme left and extreme right side, both are silver. Both the electrodes, anode and the cathode are same, silver. Uh, electrolyte is also the same. See the next, the second one and the fourth one here. Silver nitrate, silver nitrate. Same electrolyte. What is the change? Concentration. So first silver nitrate concentration, concentration M1. Second silver nitrate concentration is M2. Where M1 and M2 are the molar concentration of the silver ions in the two half cells. So this is the construction. You can have two beakers here. One beaker contains silver nitrate of M1 concentration. Second beaker is also silver nitrate, but concentration M2 change. And silver anode, silver cathode, and it's a salt bridge connected to the voltmeter. Reactions, anode reaction oxidation, that is Ag gives Ag plus of M1 concentration plus release of one electron. Cathode, Ag plus of M2 plus electron, silver. Net cell reaction, Ag plus M2, double side arrow mark, Ag plus M1. This is what the cell net reaction, net cell reaction. Now, let us apply the Nernst equation for this equation, for this representation or the reaction. E cell equals E naught cell minus 0 0.0591 divided by N log product concentration to the reactant concentration. E cell equals E naught cell can be represented like this. E naught of C minus E naught of A. E naught of C means standard electrode potential of cathode minus E naught A means standard electrode concentration of anode. Minus 0 0.0591 divided by N log M1 by M2. Why it is M1 here? M1 is the product. Where is M1 here? This is the product. See the net cell reaction? In the net cell reaction, this is the product, M1. In the net cell reaction, this is the reactant M2. So M1 by M2. Since 
anode and cathode are uh, made up of a same metal silver metal uh, its uh, concentration gets cancelled out and therefore the remaining thing is e cell equals minus 0.0591 divided by n log m1 by m2 ah uh, if you want to take the positive sign here e cell equals 0.0591 divided by n log m2 by m1 it reversed here if it is a minus m1 by m2 it is a plus if it is a plus m2 by m1 this is the equation e cell equals 0.0591 divided by n log concentration of m2 divided by concentration of m1 this is the animated diagram of the concentration cell you can see the animated picture here this may be a, a electrode here zinc they are, they, are, they are written as zinc any electrode we can take if it is a zinc zinc sulfate we have to take both anode and cathode must be same zinc zinc sulfate that side also zinc zinc sulfate this is a salt bridge and this is electrical connection so this is how the concentration cell is made up of this is about concentration cell